So, when most people think electric cars, they think road cars, utes, trucks, but they don't think racing cars. Well, this is a Generation 2 Formula E car. So these race in the ABB Formula E World Series Championship, and that is in its ninth season this year. The cars this year are slightly different to this Generation 2 car. They're running Generation 3 cars this year, um, but these cars, still similar sort of concept, very aerodynamically sleek cars. And the other thing about the Generation 3 cars that are racing this year is we're going to see the introduction of recharging in race. So previously in Formula E, um, cars have tended to get a power boost via a designated zone on the track, but what will happen going forward in six races this year is those recharge or boost powers will come via a mandated 30 second pit stop where the cars will actually recharge inside the pit stop. So. As we go down here, um, have a look inside the cockpit there at the steering wheel, very Formula One-like steering wheel. Um, still quite a complex piece of equipment to run. And uh, some of the key statistics for a ABB Formula E Gen 2, it's maximum power output 250 kilowatts. It has a race mode 200 kilowatts and it can get 0 to 102.8 seconds and it has a maximum speed of 280k. So these things do fly on the track. Um, you know, so if you haven't checked out Formula E previously, it's well worth a look. Um, one, um, the racing is very close. They're very uh, homogenised cars in a way, so quite close racing. And if you wanted to go and check a highlight of a Formula E race, Monaco two years ago, Mitch Evans going up the hill at Monaco and a pass on the outside, which is just amazing. And uh, you do see that type of passing in this race. And um, you see a lot late in the race where energy consumption becomes a real issue and protecting the energy. But it will be very interesting to see when they get to the recharge rounds this year and how those mandated recharge pit stops go. But, that's a beautiful Generation 2 ABB Formula E.